Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Dog Recipes. Today we're making Dan Jiao. It's a unique dumpling that's wrapped by egg. We don't use any flour in this recipe, so it's gluten free and it's so delicious. You try it once, you will fall in love with it. So let's get started. First, we'll need some spinach. Wash them carefully. The end of the stem and root usually have lots of sand. Make sure you clean that well. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Add half teaspoon of salt. Then add the spinach. The stem side goes in first. Few seconds later, drop the rest. Let it blanch for about twenty seconds and take them out. Get rid of the excess water. Spread it on the cutting board so it can cool down faster. Then finally dice them. Squeeze as much liquid as you can out of the spinach. Set it aside. We're gonna make the filling. You will need 250 grams of ground pork. To that, add two teaspoon of soy sauce, two teaspoon of oyster sauce, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of grated garlic, some white pepper to taste, and a drizzle of sesame oil. Mix everything first, then stir the meat within one direction for a few minutes to develop the texture. When you see there are some thin strands appearing, that means it is good. Now you can add the blanched spinach and a quarter cup of diced spring onion. Mix it well. You can make thirty to thirty-five egg dumplings with this recipe. So I like to pre-divide the filling into these small oval pieces. The amount is about two teaspoon each piece. When you make egg wrappers, it is gonna be really fast, and you won't have enough time to shape the filling. So it's better to do it now. Set it aside. Let's move on to the egg. You will need quite a lot of eggs in this recipe. Crack them all in one bowl. Add half teaspoon of salt and some cornstarch water. This just two teaspoon of cornstarch mixed with two teaspoon of water. Whisk the egg for a few minutes until you cannot lift up any obvious egg white. To make the egg wrapper, you need a tiny frying pan like this. You can buy this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. I saw there are some products like this. Technically, it will work, but the size of each one usually is smaller, so you will make tiny dumplings with that. Okay, let's start making. Add a little bit oil. Shake the pan so the oil can spread out. Use medium low heat. Then add the egg mixture. The amount depends on the size of the frying pan. My frying pan is 4.5 inches in diameter. I used a little bit less than two tablespoons of egg. When you put the filling on, make sure there is still some liquid egg, or else your dumpling won't be able to seal completely. Carefully lift up one side of the wrapper, fold it across, pack it tight to seal it completely. Let it cook for 15 more seconds, then flip to fry the other side for another 15 seconds. And you just made a lovely egg dumpling. This process is really fast; takes about a minute and a half. It looks easy, but it's quite tricky. Let me show you my failed experience. If you try to lift the wrapper too early while the egg is still soft, it will break easily. If you don't use a nonstick pan, the egg will stick to the bottom, and you won't be able to lift it up. But you don't need to worry about it too much. Practice with one or two, and you're gonna be fine. What you made here is like half done food product. You cannot eat them like this because that a minute and a half is not enough to cook the filling through. The pork is still raw. You need to cook it furthermore. You can throw some into a hot pot. Tastes delicious that way. You can cook it with noodles. I love egg dumplings on top of noodle soup. They are completely freezer friendly. 
I freeze them on a plate and store them in a plastic bag. It will last two months. Besides that, let me show you the simplest way to eat them. Just put them in a steamer. Once the water is boiling, start counting the time. Steam them for fifteen minutes, and you can serve it with your favorite dipping sauce. This smells so good, very eggy. Let's give it a try.、Mm. Because we steamed it, it's really tender and juicy. You can even see the juice is dripping, and it tastes delicious. The egg wrapper has a spongy texture, which can soak up more dipping sauce, makes a big difference in taste. Imagine you are cooking for your family and you bring out these lovely babies. <laughs> They will not last long on the table. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. As always, the recipe is in the description down below the video. You can go check that out. Don't forget to take a look of my channel. I'm sure you'll find out how to cook your favorite Chinese food. Thank you for watching until the end. I want to quickly talk about a new resource I have for you. I got lots of comments asking me about the ingredients and tools that I'm using to make this easier for you. I created this Amazon storefront page. You can click into each category and see common ingredients you will need. Here, I wrote a little comment for each product, so you can easily understand what recipe you can make with each ingredient. This page doesn't let me customize everything, so it's not perfect. But hopefully, this helps you. Let me know any feedback you have on it in the comment. I'll put the page link in the description of all my videos, so you can go check it out whenever you need. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.